Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing Kate Renata, uh, one of my favorite producers. So I've been looking forward to doing this for a long time. And uh, so let's get it. Okay guys, so if you listen to Kate Renata's music, um, you notice that there's always kind of the same elements going on. So the main elements are bass, uh, most of the time a synth bass. You have a synth pad or keys and you have um, really bouncy drums. Uh, like uh, some house drums. So we're gonna start off with uh, the pad. So for the synth I'm using Serum and I prepared a pad here. It sounds a bit like that. I've just kind of a sweep into the um, into the chord. And uh, so nothing too special, but you wanna leave space for the bass, especially in Kate Renata's music. So I'm gonna play some chords that are um, higher than I would usually play them. So in a more, in higher territory if you want, so that we leave uh, enough space for the bass um, to kick in later. So I'm just gonna try out some chords. I think I'm gonna go for some um, minor chords, some not too conventional chords, not, not, not pop chords, but more uh, dissonant chords. Um, let me see if I can come up with something. Nice, I got some chords, which is just B flat minor going to F minor with the with this note just going half step down and this note going half a step down. So that gives us that dissonant sound that I was talking about. So the next thing we're gonna add is the kick. So I'm just looking for some boxy kick that represents the Catronada sound. Not too trappy, not too live music, kind of in between. And so as I said, I'm putting a kick every on every beat. So we have not the kick only on one and three, but um, on two and four as well. Okay, next thing I'm gonna search for is a clap. Um, you know, Ketronada uses claps very, very often. So we'll see what we find. You know, a low key clap, not like a trap clap, but like a live sound. Like this one. And so we're just adding that to every two and four. So I'm just adding another clap to give it to develop the sound. Nice. Okay, so far so good. I do want to add, you know, another uh, snare to just give the snare sound, and you know, a, a different uh, texture. Okay, I misplaced that one. Kind of an offbeat snare there to make it more interesting, you know. Nice, let's go. Now, hi-hats. So I found this hi-hat loop, um, which is our BPM. Um, and I'm just gonna drag it in, cause that's always a good thing you can do to one, get an idea where you wanna go maybe, you know, to, to try things out. And on the other hand, you can always take these loops to pick out sounds that you like and to chop it up and uh, you can always do a ton of stuff with, with loops. So when I listen to this, this uh, second hi-hat is kind of too prominent for me, too, uh, too loud. So I'm chopping it off. Nice. 
especially the open hi-hat is important at the end of the progression because that's very Caetronada esque um, he uses a lot of open hi-hats so um, but I still want to add another hi-hat to uh, fill these open gaps that we just uh, chopped so I'm looking for uh, for an acoustic hi-hat let's just take this one and the open one was also good so I'm filling up the spaces that we left Yep. Nice. And what I always would encourage you to do is just, you know, try things out and just place like a hi hat at some random point where you wouldn't place it like if, if you did things the normal way. A lot of good things come out of this because, you know, you get fresh inputs, you know, fresh ideas, and often it sound it doesn't sound too bad. And if it sounds bad, well you can just go back. You don't have to keep it. So that sounds too um, complicated, so I'm just going to put them on a different spot, maybe. So I'm very happy where we're at right now. Um, very nice groove. Um, we got hats, we got the drums basically uh, lined up. So the bass, next up is the bass, um, arguably the most important thing in this, uh, in this beat. So for this, I am going to use Serum. And there's actually this bad bass one that we're going to use. Okay, so we're going to do the bass line right now. We'll be jamming around a bit and see if we can find something. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So, very important as well, and I always love to do that, is adding a vocal sample. Okay, so I found these three samples um, all in the right key. And so how do we arrange these guys? Let's see. I think this one is probably gonna be the first one. Okay, so I'm adding some delay. It's not like an upfront vocal because, you know, there's always going to be a vocalist singing. So we want it more in the background, more like mellow. And uh, the delay helps do that. Just take some wetness out, less feedback. Yeah, obviously some reverb to get it more in the background, as I said to give more space let's see small hall why not it works yeah already much better and also to add to the catronata sound we need a flanger i'm gonna add a flanger to all of the hi-hats later um it's just the catronata sound So this one I'm going to try out here. Let's see if that fits. You can hear the difference between the first one and the second one that I didn't, um, you know, add delay and reverb to. It sounds too, too upfront, too much, you know, too... Uh, I was going to foot him... Uh, foot, foot, excuse me. You know, essentially you, you can hear it too well. It doesn't fit into the whole uh, vibe and beat. So with X, you open the mixer and you can always hold option and just copy those. So there isn't too much space left for the, for the third one. Let's just, I don't know, put it somewhere. Maybe a bit later. Very 
very nice. Let me just add the effects to that one as well. Boom, boom, okay. So it sounds very nice so far, but still it's kind of something missing. It sounds a bit dry. So, so maybe we'll add some keys. And so I'm just gonna do a lot of space and reverb on the, onto this one. So a good tip is always if you have more than one instrument playing the chords, which is, you know, oftentimes the case, um, change up the voicings, you know, between the instruments. So they don't play all the same voicing that at some point it starts sounding muddy because they're all playing the exact same notes. So you want to, you know, spread it out a bit. So I just took some notes and 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 put them down an octave. Um, no particular uh, logic behind that. Just uh, some notes so to spread it more out. So as I said, we're going to add some flanger to the hats. Nice. Do you know what? I think I'm going to add another clap to make it more clappy. Or a snap. I think I mentioned that earlier and I didn't find one. Maybe just before the snare, like... I don't know if you know what I meant by that, but let's just listen to it. Nice. I think that's about it. Um, you know, the basic beat, you can always add, you know, more details and stuff, but I think the you know, the basics are done. Um, so I'll arrange a bit and I'll see you there. All right, guys, I did some arranging. And before I play you the full beat, if you got something out of this video, please consider subscribing. I'm actually very satisfied about what we did today. I'm very proud of that k Tronado beat. And also I want to let you know that I also make my own songs on Spotify and Apple Music and the streaming platforms with my friend. She sings. And so if you want to check that out, the link is down below would mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.